Welcome big dogs. Today I'm going to show you how to do two-dimensional interpolation using the SciPy package in Python. So the other day I had to interpolate some values in a table as shown here. I was given some ratios. I calculated these ratios x direction and in the y direction here and then I had to interpolate between the values given in this table. And it was hard to do in Excel so I researched some things in Python and learned that the interp 2D function can do just that. So I'm going to show you how to program something like this, uh, an example problem, because this has several applications, not only within engineering, but other disciplines as well. So the first thing I did was I imported the NumPy package and then the interp 2D, which is found in our SciPy package in Python. The next thing I did was I created some lists. So my list were my x values and my y values. So my x values were these values right up here tabulated horizontally from 0 to 1 and my y values were tabulated from 0 0.5 to 1.5 so I just put in those values right there and then the next thing I did was I created a numpy array so sometimes you can give a function of x and y but in this case I just had tabulated values so I created a numpy array from 98.78 to 14.26 that had these values all the way in between so I just specified it by row so I started 98.78 right here and I went to 49.35 and then I stepped down to the next row and then the next row so if we print that array out we'll kinda of get a feel of what it looks like so you can see here here's my values they're the exact same values in this table right here. So now this is where the magic happens. The interp2d function, you're going to give it your x, your y values, and then the values you want to interpolate between. And then you can specify the type of interpolation. In this case, I'm doing linear interpolation. And then you can specify the values you want it to return if, you know, just in case you fell out about out of bounds outside this range. For example, if I specified a x value greater than 1, it would return this value right here, negative 1. So it's just kind of a fail safe. So let's go ahead and see how this works. So I'm going to go ahead and execute that function. So now I'm going to print some values. So I created, I called this interp2d, so to get your values you just specify F and then put in your X and Y's. In this case I'm going to put in 0 0.2 and 0 0.5. I should get a value of 76 and a half as shown here. So I'm going to clear that and then we're going to go ahead and do this. So I'm going to do 0 0.2 and then 0 0.5 And I get a value of 76 and a half, which is what it was expected. Now let's change that to 0 0.1 as our x value. We should get a value halfway between 98.78 and 76.5, which is exactly what we get. That's 86 point eight. That's 87.64. And then I can do just some random values. Um, let's do 0 0.5 and 0.8. If we do that, we get 36.21, so 0 0.5 and 0.8, so it should be between somewhere in that range. If you get out your calculator and you calculate it, you should get 36.21. So guys, that's a real convenient function. It didn't take a lot of lines of code to write. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time. Adios.